The lyrics are shockingly savage, but are they a blueprint for murder? Tonight, Nine on Your Side investigates. What could possibly drive a grandson to allegedly kill his own grandparents? It's a question many have asked since July. Since then, a strange connection to a cult-like music following has surfaced. Here's Marcelino Benito with Nine on Your Side investigation. What is your emergency? Hi, um, I just came over to my grandparents and something has happened to both of them. There's blood everywhere. It's hard to imagine something so gruesome, so horrifying happened inside this house. There is blood everywhere. Mary and Erskine Fulgham were found brutally stabbed and beaten to death. In a cruel twist, police say their own grandson, Kyle Dratlow, and his friends Christopher Terry and Brianna Harding, savagely killed them. I kind of suspected it was somebody that, that knew them. Detectives quickly pieced together the moments leading to the killing. Police reports show the trio spent time on Mount Lemon, panhandling, desperate for money, and planned to murk or beat to death a different couple on the mountain. But then, police say, plans changed. Hours later, surveillance tape catches the accused killers driving away from the gruesome scene. All three suspects believed to be in that white car. All three captured a day later on the run in Tonopah, Nevada. So we know the alleged who, but what about the why? The answer to that question could be found in one word tucked away inside this police report. Juggalos. And then there's Terry's clown-like tattoos in these never-before-seen crime scene photos just released to us tonight of evidence collected by TPD. Jeans with Juggalo writing and a baseball cap with the hatchet man symbol. Last time on the spot, choke the cop. The genre is horrorcore. Its most popular group, the insane clown posse, their followers, the Juggalos. Kelly Snyder is a former DEA agent who's tracked possible juggalo activity across the country. It almost has the taste of a cult. The FBI goes one step further. They call the juggalos a gang active here in Arizona. These 142 pages document why cases of brutal murders, assaults across the country, they all have one word in common, juggalo. The perception is obviously that something is not right here. Just look at the song, says Snyder. Explicit tunes like Thrill of the Kill, I Stab People, or If I Was a Serial Killer. The lyrics even more disturbing. I stab old people, old ladies, little kids, I don't give a f. If I was a serial killer, I would walk among us and gain And that's just what we can put on TV. Juggalo critics say the music is a blueprint for murder. It makes someone uh, strongly suggest that maybe they're carrying out what is actually in their lyrics. But what do Tucson's own Juggalos think? 100% Juggalo. Uh, what might be? Okay, chill. It's family love. It's a homicide. Not on your side recently went to a concert to see for ourselves. We saw the tattoos, the hatchet man symbols, the people who say they're misunderstood. To label us all again is ridiculous. I don't want to be just labeled as a, like a criminal just because I'm of the music I listen to. They say don't blame the music. I wouldn't say the message is violence. But listen for yourself. The violence is the true answer. And you can find Justin Bieber fans that are guilty of violent crimes, you know, and it doesn't get a whole lot cleaner than that. We asked about the brutal murder right here in our own backyard. Should the Juggalo connection be ignored? You can't label everybody just because some people did some bad things. Blame the person, they say, not the Juggalo family. It just does not make sense for them to continue to create songs that have something to do with death and killing people. You know, isn't there something better that you can sing about? ICP's record company, Psychopathic Records, is locked in a lawsuit with the FBI over the gang classification. We reached out to ICP, but were told because of an Australian tour, did not have time to answer our questions. Meanwhile, juggalo style connections to murders and assaults across the U.S. continue to surface. It's not going to stop because so far they are almost committing the perfect crime. 
It wasn't quite so perfect here in Tucson. Three accused killers now awaiting trial for killing an elderly couple that didn't deserve the grisly way they died. All three are still in jail tonight. They are due back in court on December 4th. And guys, the county attorney's office could still uh, pursue death penalty charges, and we'll know that answer by the end of the year. Just have to shake your head at something like that. And the police report, we were talking about it, just so disturbing, just how brutal these killings were. We don't even mention that. Yeah, I've read the details over and over again. Extremely disturbing. Unimaginable. All right, Marcelino, thank you so much.